Hello, this is Mofo See That, and this is my review of Kamen Rider Kuga Ultimate Form. Now, as of now, I'm almost done with uploading Warbot Defender right here, so you should be seeing both of these today. So, I bought them for $33. This is part of the SH Figure Arts line. Here's Kuga right here, like killing the fire. Backside just, no, sides just says the same thing. The name's right here. The bottom has the blue fin label, some Japanese ID number. Bottom, same thing. The back, your Tommy's. Tamashi Nations logo right here. Japan oh crap, it just fell out. Whatever. And here is this the different head to show that this is the evil version. As um Yusuke saw in his dreams in the original television series. Here's different poses you can do him in. SH figure arts simple, simple style and heroic action. Let's try to get this crap back. There we go. Lock that in there. Lock this right. up right here. Okay. So let's open this fella up. Now, like with most um, SH regards, you open it from the sides, like either side, and open it from this side. So get a sharp utensil. Plus, if you're using exacto knives and you're under the recommended age of using this, have like a parent card and do it for you. Simple as that. Or you can just use a blunt nail file, just stab it. Here we have, open it up. Ah, son of a bitch. There we go. And here is the QR code. Time Machine Nation, Commission JP, PC, blah 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 blah. And here are the instructions for it. Let me open the tape. And this is a lot of languages on this one bag. Let's open this up. And like uh, most other SH regards, it only is just one simple piece of paper. It's like, let me get this in frame here. Comrade Kuga, show title, in 2010 in China. Then here it shows you thumbs up, fist, two hands. Uh, I think this is part of his henshin pose. Grab hand to an extend in the palm. And then it just shows you how you can change the faces. And it's different than Kamen Rider Decayed because it's just like face plates, not the entire head they've done. So it's a bit interesting. So let's stand this guy up. Now let's just okay. Here's the signature palm up, and here's his various hands. And there you can see 
the symbols right here. Each Kuga form has symbols on the palm guard to signify which version he is. Because you look closely in the show. Here we go. And here is it right out of the box, and like most figures. The place stand is separate. And if you look at him, he's one tall mofo, man. And as like you can see, this look here make, makes it look so accurate because that's how you would get the helmet off. And here's the nice compound eye effect. Little gem in the middle. A mat to finish the rising article belt with I think die cast feet. This has die cast feet, so let's set them down. Okay, so let's I got decayed here, so let's straighten him out. And this is his violent emotion or free form. And as you can see, to hold both of them, the Ultimate Kuga is damn taller than Decayed. And I think that's awesome. So, okay, set this guy down. Now let's. Let's go into the articulation. So right here, just usual ankle pivot. This is a bit stiff. It has the foot. You can bend it up and down. Ankle turns. Double knee. And you see, this is a bit different because then you can extend it out to get more poses in it. That's quite nice. And it goes along with the rubber feel the suit. And you can just push that back in. And the double abdomen crunch. The shoulder armor can move freely. You can move it down. Bicep swivel. Arms, elbow, quite nice, and the wrists, and the head, just go up, down, and move side to side. So let's just show off the head changing gimmick. And the back is just clear and it's different because then you just the very the head 
is roughly the same size, but all right, let's see if I can do this right. Pop it off and see how they get the compound eye effect by using this mesh, this plastic mesh pattern. Just attach it and then you got evil Kuga and just to show that off. Eva Kuga pose. <laughs> so, as I already did comparisons to the SH Figure Arts for model example, let's go. Oops, shit. with the so kaku henshin version which i have right here as you can see if you set it down it's only chest level with them, as some of you may know, Shikaku Henshin is, well, Shikaku means equipped, and Henshin obviously means change, so it means equipped change. If you're familiar with the Saint Seiya toy line, it's kind of like that, it's armor change, except it's more, it's Kamen Rider. You can see here there are some differences. But the die cast feet are the same, but so this is just gray. Um, this is the Japan version of it, the Japanese version. You can tell because uh, it had more accessories, such as black repaint of the ultimate, not ultimate, of rising dragon, Pegasus, and what was it? Titan. And it also had this glossy um, finish on it. And also came with the Grongi villain. The second to last Grongi that Kuga faces. He kills him in amazing MIT form. Uh, his, his name was Go Gadaruba which is about the same size as him. I um, think... I'm pretty sure they haven't released them in an SH figure arts form, but they have released the leader, the Zizabu um, Grongi, which would be the opposite version of Kuga. Now you see, there are some differences besides this. The color on the article belt, it's a solid black, where here is just like a clear, cloudy version. And this is so accurate, there's supposed to be like a blotch paint here. So if you look for the Chinese version of this, I would recommend buying both sets. The Chinese version and this Japanese version, because the Chinese version, it's more accurate because it has that matte finish to it. But wait, let me just see if I can do something here. Where is the... Aha, it does work. So, what you can do with the extra set of weapons, since if you bought both Shikaku Henshin versions, you have two sets of weapons now. 
what you can do is this except it's quite a loose fit if you hold it down it looks nice also it's kind of in proportion with the body as like a long blade but these weapons are not show accurate at all so because Kuga it just using the final fight he never showed any weapons during the Zizabu character he just they just burned themselves because they were burning each other so I've gone on quite long enough. I'm gonna turn off the camera and right after this I'm gonna do some posing with them. And then I'll do my final thoughts. So see you guys later. Alright, so after a while I finally let me clear get this fucking orange light out of the way. And so after a while I got them in a pose which I felt Nice, uh, Kuga is grabbing the blade from Evil Decayed, staying eye to eye with each other. So, let me just sit down here. Is Comrade or Kuga a good figure? Yes, yes it is. Um... This is very nice. Um, I would recommend buying two of these because then you can display Kuga as the red eye and then you can have the evil black eye version so then you can have um, good eye facing against himself. It's like inner turmoil. So get this if you like the um, original Kamarada Kuga series or if you want you just buy like three of them to get to make like a good I use the the Kamarada Decayed Kuga or you just instead of buying a third one you just buy the Rising Ultimate form which is kind of it's uh, but it's pretty good you should go buy it Stay tuned for my next review. Views. Bye-bye.